providers and provide them the, the best information that we have. Other treatments which have more biomass and, and more fertilizers and so on. So what they're trying to see is how with climate change, with increased abiotic and biotic stresses, with a reduced amount of water available, we need better genetics um, to, to be able to, for rice to be able to um, you know, provide stable yields um, you know, in fluctuating environments. As the environments fluctuate more and more, um, the stability of yield becomes lower. And so this is where you know, the, the improved varieties, which are more tolerant to, to climate-related aspects and which are better in terms of water use or nutrient use are, are important. And this is what we, we may call as climate resilient or climate smart varieties. So you could see here there is a pellet here. We call that as a. No, this is empty. So, for example, the rising temperatures lead to uh, lowering yields um, in rice. Sometimes, you know, day temperature, night temperature, it leads to increased droughts, increased uh, floods. When the seawater um, level rises, the coastal areas get inundated with salt water. The increased salinity is another aspect. So all these factors actually affect rice uh, yields in various growing areas. What we hope is that you know these varieties will lead to to improved stability and uh, reduced risk in rice cultivation, so the farmers can um, you know earn better and have less cost of production, and uh, you know which will eventually lead to their income and and, and other aspects uh, improvement of other aspects as well in their lives. Flat label, so okay. yung some flat label yung isang, isang okay. So this is the recipient parent. To the clipping, this will serve as the female parent. Okay. So these are anthers, so you can still make use of this to pollinate. The so at first, the breeders they will identify the recipient parent and the donor parent. So the donor parent is the one donating the trait, say drought tolerant, submergence tolerant, all those things. And that the recipient parent, this is the one receiving that trait to add to the positive traits that it currently has. So for example, this recipient parent, it, has, it is very high yielding, early maturing, so good eating quality. So you need to put in the, those traits those drought tolerance, submergence tolerance, or cold tolerance trait to produce offspring having all those traits. Kasi maganda nga yun, may pag, may pag-asa ka kahit walang patubig. Mayroon kang inaasa na kahit kaunting bagay hamugamug lang eh. Matuloy-tuloy ang buhay niya. Ayun sa ano talaga, 
Apakah ada pengalur itu misal bila aja ni di nami naga usah kabila. Saya ngah di natari mandal olang tubig. Thank you. 